NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang spoke about the future of robotics at CES, signaling the technology is closer than we might think. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see very rapid breakthroughs, surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. You just saw Juan surrounded by robots. He does see three types of those robots near term, AI agents, robots in self-driving cars, and humanoid robots as well. One company, RoboForce, wants to deploy humanoids in high-risk environments, think mines and solar farms. Joining us now, we've got Leo Ma. He is founder and CEO of RoboForce. Leo, great to speak with you. I want to get your reaction to Jensen's speech here, talking about the chat GPT moment coming for robotics. What is that moment going to look like? Well, uh, that's a great announcement. And I, uh, from a technical perspective, we do see and share the same sentiment and excitement. Um, from AI robotic domain, technical angle, there are two things that matter the most. One is the pure computational power. Uh, in recent more than eight years, uh, it go, goes up more than 1,000 times. And second is the availability. Uh, startup like us have access to the, that level of computation power. I think that is under the hood what matter the most. That, so that moment is availability plus that pure computational power turning the methods, models, and algorithm from not usable to great. And what does the timeline look like for that? Well, uh, we see a speed up version of the timeline. Uh, take RoboForce as an example, we're building the most tedious, force demanding, dangerous work that sh shouldn't have to be human to do, uh, that using robo labor to do. So it was, think about five to 10 years, we see a specific uh, uh, accelerating in each of the availability matter to us speeding up. Uh, I would say in the coming uh, two to three, we'll see significant go to market, and then uh, three to five years, that there will be a breakthrough time. That's in my, in my view. So in that two to three years, three to five year timeline, a little bit more near term, what do you anticipate the impact on the workforce and the labor market looking like? This in RoboForce, we believe, is a significant enabler or uh, boost in the economy that we believe. Take uh, uh, our focus as an example, a huge solar site, a utility scale solar site are delayed or canceled. And uh, there's a wider range of application uh, is suffering from uh, lacking of uh, uh, the workers that are willing to, to go to that uh, condition to, to work. And the uh, RoboForce and uh, uh, by delivering robo labor, that is creating a significant boost for that part as the labor force factor. Leo, what are you hearing just in terms of interest from businesses, from corporations? Are there certain sectors that are showing the most interest now? And I guess just the willingness to spend more of their capital on this. Yes, uh, as we, uh, this is an exciting time for RoboForce. We just come out of stealth this mode. Uh, so uh, uh, we do have a list of uh, uh, key customers and players that express high interest to uh, get to know and uh, 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 try our robo labor system uh, as a lineup now. So we're starting focus with uh, solar center, particularly uh, panel installation, uh, pick and place both and us, and uh, it's been done by human, repeating millions of times. So starting there, and there's a wide range of application from ultra scale solar center all the way to space. All right, Leo, we have to leave the conversation there. Thanks so much for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. Thank you.